Happy Tuesday. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Today, I want to talk about non-committing ways that are trending on social media and just trending with the culture of today's society. I am going to break it up into two sessions for you guys. The first session, I'm going to go through the terminology and what they mean. And the second session is I'm going to explain how to better adapt to them and how to better understand them and how to react to them. So the first one is ghosting. Ghosting is when someone all of a sudden cuts off contact with you and it is usually prevalent in the dating world and as well in the employee world. So let's just say that you have been dating a guy for two months and you guys are you know, having a good time, you're texting, you're calling each other and all of a sudden the guy just disappears and he has nowhere to be found. That is ghosting. It also happens in the world of hiring new employees often where either the employee or the employer will just go off the grid without responding to emails, calls, contacts. And so that's what we call ghosting. It's a sudden break of contact that was there before. And it usually pertains to individuals that don't know each other very well. So newly dating or new employees or new employers. Next term on my sheet is breadcrumbing. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this. I actually first heard of this, I want to say like about a year and a half ago. And it was actually one of my clients who was single that told me about this. And I kind of uh, felt myself embarrassed uh, to ask what is breadcrumbing. And so I'm happy to tell you guys what it is so you kind of know if other people are talking about it. I think it's important that we all know this terminology because First of all, it tells us that these things exist and they are part of society. And second of all, it tells us that it's happening more often than we may know, that it even has terminology. Breadcrumbing is when someone gives you like little breadcrumbs, but doesn't really sit down to share the whole loaf of bread with you. Meaning they kind of string you along and they mislead you and they have some contact with you, but they don't really give you the full attention. And oftentimes it could be that they are messaging you, but then if they call you, you don't pick up. It's important to remember breadcrumbing is usually when a person tries to keep their options open. So to give you guys an example, it is a guy who you were trying to date or a girl who you were trying to date who gives you a little bit of attention, but then not enough so that you don't come back to them and say, why are we not exclusive? because they made sure that it's really not at that level yet. So these are people that want to keep their options open, they're the people that don't want to commit, and they are the people that are stringing others along. The next on my list is submarine. And what that means is a kind of person that vanishes all of a sudden, and they go off the grid, and you can't really find them, you can't contact them, but all of a sudden they come back into your life, and they text you, and they call you, and they really want to be a part of your life again. So this individual comes and goes. There is almost like a little pattern with them, coming and going. The next one is called orbiting, and it's kind of an interesting one because it's one that I think all of us have experienced before. And it could pertain to friendships, it could pertain to following someone on social media. And what it is is that a person acknowledges your presence online, but they don't acknowledge you in the real world. So what I mean by that is that maybe they like every single one of your photos. Maybe all of a sudden they'll go on a ramp and like all of your photos. Maybe they will keep in contact with you through private messaging, but they don't keep actual contact with you. They don't start contact with you and they won't respond back to you. So there's no text messaging, there is no phone calls, there's no real life encounters. And it kind of goes beyond that. It's almost like they don't acknowledge you in real world. Like maybe it's even the kind of person that you see at your local grocery store, but they don't acknowledge you. So it's acknowledging you online, but not in the real world. So I could have said this before, but one of the main reasons I wanted to go over this is because of how prevalent these kind of behaviors are lately. The reason they're so prevalent, I believe, because it is due to social media that we could even do such a thing as orbiting. Before, there was no such a thing as acknowledging someone's presence online and not in the real world. So these things are really up and coming behaviors that are unfortunately becoming more and more acceptable in our world these days. So it's important to acknowledge them. And for my Therapy Tuesday next session, I'm going to go over what are some of the best ways you can deal with them. Thanks, guys, for listening. I will see you next Tuesday.